The tent's not high enough compared to the eaves. This angle I'm on right here, it's it's got to be a bit steeper. As I pull the tent up, it slackens the uh, zipper, and it's like I can pull the zipper down. Uh, so that might actually be a good thing. This might actually be an easier fix than cutting everything up. What a difference that makes if it goes up. Look, I can almost close it. I want to go through the tent as well. Exactly. So I've got a brand new um, Coleman oven, and I've wanted one for a long time. And this is the first time I'm going to use it. I'm going to cook some turkey wings, some nice big turkey wings. They're like three times, four times the size of a chicken wing. And right now I'm just going to let this thing kind of smoke a little bit because I can see that it's probably going to burn off a little bit before I can actually put food in there. So. Let's see, you can see it smoking there a little bit. Anyway, I don't know if any of you have ever used one of these before, but I'm pretty excited. I'd, I'd like to do more baking while I'm out here. And this essentially allows for me to put something on. I can walk away, I can finish my job for the afternoon, come back, have a nice hot uh, meal. So today, first meal in the Coleman oven is gonna be turkey wings.
little snack before I go back at it. It's a beautiful evening. It's cold. Not too bad. But the sun is, is hot, so it's, it's interesting because I can definitely feel the cold coming into my body, but I can feel the heat on my face from the sun. So hopefully these uh, turkey wings, I've never had turkey wings before. Well, they're stuck to the bottom. They're definitely done. Oh my Lord. Wow. Salt and pepper turkey wings. This is going to be interesting. I wonder. Batteries cooked on this thing. But look, good enough for me.
So you can see I just got some plywood here up against the door and I'm just going to do that for tonight um, just to help keep it warm in here because it is going down to minus 30s tonight. But uh, my plan is to put like some sort of door system on. Um, so until then, I'm gonna have a little uh, little nightcap. Now I'm gonna go to bed, go to sleep. It's time, late enough. It's almost midnight, and uh, hopefully I get a good sleep. So, cheers. Interesting sleep last night. I uh, I was cold, uh, considerably cold at around I would say, um, like between four and seven. This morning it was cold. It was in the minus thirties outside. Uh, the tent went down below freezing for sure inside. I was next to the stove and the stove was giving off nice heat. Um, and uh, once I stocked it again with some wood, um, my back just really started to warm up and then I was able to sleep this morning. So I, I slept in, but that's because I didn't end up going to sleep until like one. And then I, you know, I, I struggled with sleeping there for a couple of hours. So it was a weird night, but I did end up getting, you know, a, a good amount of sleep in the end. It was just broken up. So inside the tent, well right now, I'll tell you. So right now, outside, it is, oh it's not too bad. You guys can see that. You see that? Minus 26. You can see in the back of the tent there, this is the back wall. It's almost 10 degrees, just above 40 Fahrenheit. I've used all of my wood except for two pieces. So that should keep me warm for another hour or so. Uh, maybe a, a little bit longer. They're not big pieces of wood. They're not going to take long to burn.
It's about 65 degrees here. Fahrenheit, almost 20 degrees Celsius. It is just beautiful in this tent right now. It's minus 23 right now. Wind chill minus 32. So, 40 degree difference between outside and inside. Someone commented the other day that when I cook meals, I have to actually show myself eating, taking a bite. That is deadly. That's exactly what I needed this morning. <laughs> 